Hey, let's give you a chance to win one, two, three, or one hundred, one, two, or three hundred dollars. Is that what I'm trying to say? One, two, or three. One, two, or three hundred dollars in cash. One, from two, three hundred. Ah, called ah, ah. Bike Law Firm. And it's our free money question of the day. Be calling number five right now at 736 0186. 736 0186. I just can't believe this uh, latest story here. This is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah. Did I say caller five? Yes, you did. Okay, seven three six zero one eight six. I cannot What's believe story? this story. Um, this is a story that is, it's a New York story, right, Andrew? Yeah, Ful- this, Fulton, New York. Fulton, which is out near, and, uh, and I got to tell you. Um, it's not that far. All right, it's no, 40 no, minutes yeah. away. It's yeah. just down here at Johnstown. Just down the yeah. road, yeah. Yeah, it's close, uh, but I got... I'm sorry, I became distracted when I saw the photo of uh, of this lovely this nurse. This is what you always talk about, Bill, with looks. She's and... not guilty. Well, she is. Hey, she, even she if admitted she is. Is. No, no, she's not. No one is guilty. I so mean, proven guilty. This goes to that In argument. In a court of law. This goes to that argument. I mean, I'll let you tell the story. She'll, this, in my eyes, she'll never be guilty. Look at Because she's saying? pretty. She's beautiful. Hang on, yeah, I gotta see this. Oh. Well, it's not. Yeah, I, you got to tell the story so I can, should, yeah. but she's very, she's very beautiful. Uh, Fulton nurse. Oh, she's been convicted, though, right? Yeah, because she pled guilty. Okay. So she had to give up the license. She's been convicted of taking a photo of un- an unconscious patient. You know what to do with her iPhone last year. She has surrendered her license. And you know. What is the story? Well, apparently there must have been something that impressed her. Well, well it could be. I don't I know. Mean, was this a case of she was impressed? Is this a case of someone sorry, she, went, uh, yeah. she, also she went to high sent, school with and wanted to make fun of him? No, no. She also sent, part of the issue was she also sent these photos via text message. Right. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she was. Ooh. Maybe it was an embarrassment situation. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, here's the, first of all, I, I am incorrect. I, I had said Fulton is near Johnstown. That's it's Fultonville. Fultonville. Right. Uh, Fulton is uh, north of Syracuse. Right. A uh, Fulton nurse convicted of taking a photo of an unconscious patient's penis with her iPhone last year surrendered her license. Kristen Johnson was forced to give up her license as part of a, a plea deal where... Andrew, do not go there. Andrew. I just... She was born to love it. Uh, part of a plea deal where she pleaded guilty to misdemeanor... D- W-I-B-X. <clears throat> Let me Andrew. finish. Let me just finish this, please. Oh, I haven't even gotten through the second sentence. Her conviction came after a nine-month investigation by the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office into complaints from her upstate university hospital co-workers that she sent pictures of two patients via text message. And you know what? I got to tell you, I give a great deal of credit to the employees that uh, stood up Mm -hmm. and said, hey, this is, you can't, you just can't do this. A nine-month investigation. You know what? I, I do wonder, though, why is it that we allow the people that work at these photo mats to get away with this stuff? Well, we because we willingly them. we willingly give them the film. Yeah, but they don't. They're not supposed to be looking at the photos and taking making copies. I well, talk who says to, they are? Uh, they absolutely are. You just said it. Making until copies proven guilty. Was, was the <laughs> text guilty. messaging of that day. <laughs> no, you know, listen, I knew somebody that worked at a at one of the photo mats. And there was the drawer where you pulled out the photos, and there was the drawer where you put in the photos. <laughs> That's what she told me. Oh, no. Uh, I believe her. Uh, she was originally charged with two counts of second-degree unlawful surveillance and one count of second-degree disseminating unlawful surveillance. The felony charge against her was reduced as part of her plea, which also requires Johnson to spend three or <laughs> According to the state, Johnson surrendered her license and did not contest the charge of moral unfitness in the practice. So we don't know what the motivation was. We don't know. Of course, they don't identify the victim. Well, if she didn't we know the person, know. it's probably, wow, look at that thing. No, Andrew, <clears throat> I think that there's a couple of different possibilities here, and I don't understand why. Did I lose my collar? Yeah, I guess she was so disgusted. Okay. Uh, that's because of you. It's uh, not because of me. Listen, 736-0186, I have room for a free money question. 736-0186 right now. Okay, go ahead. Why else would you take a picture of Caller it? Caller five. Well, unless mm-hmm. you're just there's something wrong. Why Why would somebody? You know, you're in that position. You, that... If you're in that position, you can't 
you can't take photos like that. You Absolutely could never do anything not. like Does that. Does that come and under it the shows HIPAA you, law? It shows you. Well, no, not at all. It shows you that other nurses saw this, other employees saw this, and uh, and turned the person in. And, and as you mentioned, kudos to them. Now, an example of a double standard here, and we're just coming off this conversation about because, part of this is about the bathroom situation yep. in North Carolina, Georgia, yep, et cetera. Yep. This was a guy doing this to women. What, what, what was her sentence? This is a woman doing it to a guy. Right. You're absolutely we right. We laugh and this joke about it. This was a doctor, or this was a male nurse that was doing this to a female, mm -hmm. he probably would be in prison. W what was her sentence? Her conviction came nine months after the She was originally charged with, her felony charge was reduced as part of her plea deal, which also requires Johnson to spend three years on probation. Mm -hmm. Now, I do wonder, Christine, if this was a guy that did this to a female, mm -hmm. would it be different? I think we would not be. We probably we, would. We, you all would not be joking about right, it. Right. It would be disgusting. Well, yeah. that, the other thing, you know, that a lot of people were talking about over social media was that uh, if this was a uh, a doctor doing this to a female patient or a male nurse, there would be calls to. <laughs> we just said that. You're repeating what we said. I'm talking about imprisonment, though. They wouldn't want him to give up his life. They would be calling for years. We just said that. No, you were talking about the license removal. <laughs> no. He's on no. Delay. Stay with the program, boy. I am, but I'm getting the free I'm money I'm shutting call. your mic off. I'm shutting your mic off. <laughs> oh, Lordy. In Lordy, fairness, Lordy. he's juggling phone calls. He is. So. Okay. Allison is in a risk. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. This whole program went right down the tubes here all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Here we go with your question. This is our free money question of the day. You'll have exactly seven seconds to answer the question, and I hope you do. And it's your chance to win how much? Is it 100 200 or $300? Here we go as we spin the wheel. All right. It'll land on one, two, or three. Here we go. $100. All right. $100. All right. $100 for $100. NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Who has won the most times? Ready? Go. Uh, UCLA. You're going to go with UCLA? She's right. Oh, oh my winning. goodness. Oh. Winning. UCLA. <laughs> UCLA has won 11 times. And she wins $100. Awesome. All right. Nice job. Congratulations. Allison, are you a big basketball fan? I am. Oh, you are. Okay. I was just, yesterday's winner was 200 bucks. Yeah. He wasn't even a fan of the sport. And he just threw it out there. What was yesterday's question? It, it was, was a really uh, good one. The men and women both won twice. The the men okay. and women both okay. won the national championship. All right. So here's the deal. So let's see if you could have gotten this one from yesterday. Um, it was uh, Duke won like 2014. Duke won the both the men and women won NCAA tournament. Another team did this only one other time. Um, it was done only one other time, is the way it was worded. Who was that team in 2004? UConn. Now that was uh, the the trick of it was Duke. No, it was you. It was, it was UConn, UConn both ways. Oh, it was you, I'm sorry. It was UConn, sorry, it was UConn both ways. You're yeah. right. Oh. Yeah, uh, Duke had uh, had been in, but never had won, I believe. But yeah, it was UConn. You'd have gotten that one right too. Yeah. You'd be taking all our money for God's sake. <laughs> all right. Listen, we give you a hundred dollars. A C note. It's yours. Congratulations. And Allison and Ariskina, you win one hundred bucks. Hold on tight. Andrew will hook you up. All right. All right. Thank you. Nice job there. How about that? Yeah. Uh, got a break. Cold tight 820. Coming right back at WIBX.